To balance this equation, C4H9OH plus O2 will count the atoms up. This is one butanol. You can tell that we have an alcohol because we have our carbon and hydrogen, and then we just have this OH by itself. So let's balance the equation. We have four carbons, nine hydrogens, plus we have this one here. So we have 10 hydrogens, oxygens. We have one plus the two and the O2. Make sure you get all those right. Product side, one carbon, two hydrogens, and then oxygens, just two. Plus again, watch it out. We got this one here, three. To leave the oxygens till last when you balance, that's a good strategy. Let's start with the carbons. I put a four in front of the CO2. I'd have one times four. That would give me four carbons. Let's update the oxygens. So now we have four times the two, eight, plus just the one out here. We have nine. Let's do the hydrogens. Put a five here, two times five. That would give us 10, so the hydrogens are balanced. Let's update the oxygens again. So we have four times two, eight, plus five times one. That gives us 13. So we get to this point, everything was going pretty well, and we have this. Here's how I like to think about it. So let me get rid of this here. I know I need to get 13 here. So if I say one plus something, that would equal 13. Because if I change the number in front of the oxygen, it doesn't change the number of carbons or hydrogens, this O2, the oxygen's all by itself. One plus 12, that equals 13. So to get 12, if I put a six in front of the O2, now I have the one plus the two times six, which is 12, that gives me 13. We're done. This equation is balanced. So the trick here really is to think about figuring out the number of oxygen atoms here with kind of an equation like this. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C4H9OH plus O2. Thanks for watching.